Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This is Shadow Fury 333 bringing you a match between Google Frog and Cybernetic Pony, now known as Cyber Pony, on Iced Coffee. Let us begin. So, Iced Coffee is a very small map, as you can see. It's an 8x8 map that focuses fairly heavily on hills and on choke points. Kind of a StarCraft ish design. It's. Well. Two start points on the hills right in the center of the map with ramps going down. Some choke points over around the center and this hill as well as Bop Pathable. So, no, never mind. Well, doesn't really matter. Cyber Pony is going straight for gunships. This map actually is fairly popular for gunship and air starts. It's see, Google Frog going for jump bot as well. Definitely a bizarre way of going. The Google Frog being quite a bit more experienced than Cybernetic Pony. Probably going for jump bot is a bit of a handicap, but Cybernetic Pony going for Gunship Blastwing Rush, also kind of surprising. Not a terrible strategy, though we see it, the Blastwing Rush actually did pay off this time. Last time we saw it, it didn't quite work out, but this time, definitely did some damage. More Blastwings coming up for Cybernetic Pony. He is very quickly getting up his Metal Extractors, not upgrading his commander at all yet. Google Frog, on the other hand, also not upgrading his commander. Also folks directly on getting power, but he did lose a lot of power infrastructure in that raid. And Cybernetic Pony just getting a bit more metal. He's just a little bit ahead at this point. Google Frog getting defenders up to get rid of the Blast Wings. One of them going down, however, the Blast Wing detonating right on top of it. Blast Wings are actually a little bit bizarre because they deal damage based on the shrapnel that comes off from their explosion rather than the explosion itself, which can be kind of tricky to aim, but it looks like Cybernetic Pony is just relying on large numbers or being right on top of his target. However, it doesn't matter. He has switched over to Banshees now, not focusing on Blast Wings at all. Puppy's coming down for Google Frog, which... Another suicide unit as well. Both players focusing fairly heavily on that. Google Frog, however, has a Pyro much closer, and that is going to be doing most of the damage. It's able to actually get rid of one of the Metal Extractors, dealing a bit of damage to the Commander. Looks like Google Frog trying to avoid getting into direct confrontation. Very wise that. Instead, just going straight for the rating, and the Banshee over taking it out, and the Pyro goes down, doing a lot of damage. Google Frog getting ahead in economy again, now 10 metal to 7. That 15 is, or 5 actually, that 15 was just from reclaiming the Pyro. And Google Frog is successfully rebuilding himself, getting more energy as well. That's kind of where he fell behind. That Blast Wing attack destroyed a lot of his wind generators, and like I said the last game, wind generators rely a lot on height, and in this map, height is in abundance. It's very easy to get and tall places. Banshee over coming around to, well, scout more than anything. The defenders here will just take it out too quickly. Getting rid of some of the puppies, not the biggest deal. Puppies are quite cheap units, only coming in at, well, 50 metal each. Not terribly cheap, but still not terribly expensive either. Archangels as well coming up. Google Frog getting some anti-air. He knows that Cybernetic Pony can't really switch out factories too easily at this point. He does have the reclaim from the Pyro, which can help, but it's not that feasible to do. And Cybernetic Pony hasn't got any builders, so his commander is entirely what he has for everything, for expanding his economy and everything else. A couple cranes actually would be kind of nice because that would allow him to fly around and build wherever he wants. Doesn't necessarily have to expand out directly. Though admittedly, Google Frog playing jump bots means that that may not necessarily help. Last time we were able to get rid of more of the energy infrastructure, bring Google Frog's energy down below his metal income, so he is now choked out by energy once again. That's actually been a case this entire game. While well, Cybernetic Pony building up solar collectors, a few wind gens, but not really focusing on that at all. Focusing more on the solar power and also not expanding a whole lot. He needs to get more of his metal up. However, not sure if it's going to matter. These blast wings are actually doing a fairly decent job. Just tearing apart what Google Frog has for infrastructure and working from there. A couple more coming in. Defender able to take out one of them, but the other one nicely hiding behind that hill before taking out one of the defenders and a couple wind generators as well. Google Frog once again just being held back a bit. Getting lucky right now though, the wind generators are taking a lot of power. This is high wind time. And the Archangel should be up by now. Not sure if it... No, I don't see it anywhere. It must have canceled it. No, never mind. There it is. What am I saying? It just got lost in the mess of radar and wind generators, but yes, the Archangel is in place to defend against this. More Banshees coming around. It looks like the Banshees really are just for scouting the perimeter, making sure that... Well, actually, it doesn't really matter, though. This Archangel is doing a nice job stopping those Banshees from getting anywhere near where they want to be. 
And it looked like there was another... Okay, there was something else there, unless... No, never mind. The Archangel just has a lot of anti-air weapons on it. Actually, I've never really seen someone use an Archangel properly. Most of the time, you don't see people, see people play jump bots very often. It's a rare factory. It's a cool factory, though. Gotta say, I quite appreciate when people play that. As well as when people play gunships or spiders, because those just... They're underused, and many would argue they're underused for a reason, but they are still underused regardless. Cybernetic Pony now finally going out to expand, and Google Frog actually himself has not gone out to expand too much. Getting some terraforming for a interestingly placed Razor's Kiss. Nice anti-air unit, and in a good place to avoid the hills getting in the way too much. This hill right here will still get in the way, but at that point it's the edge of the range anyways. It's not the biggest deal. And... Expansion coming up. Freaker going in. There is Metal Extractor for Google Frog as well as Cybernetic Pony. Both players are now expanding. But Cybernetic Pony, being that he is playing gunships, will have a much easier time raiding around the map compared to Google Frog. This Razor Skiss will help, but it's not quite up yet. It will be up in time for the Banshees, though. Once those Banshees come in, they are going to have basically no chance to get rid of that. However, the Razor Skiss, its range just extends the green circle here, just extends far enough to get rid of one of the Banshees. But the melee structure was lost, but at the same time, Pyro coming in, trying to do what it can, but not really able to do that much. Cybernetic Pony had proper defenses set up. It's pointing out the night the players actually morphed up their commander for good reason. They really haven't got the metal income to spare for that. In either case, they really need the units set up. Especially since Cybernetic Pony has been focusing a lot on Blast Wings. Getting a Black Dawn, actually. See, it's about six minutes in the game, the amount of damage he's dealt, and the amount of metal, it's an interesting choice, a bit of a gambit, but he might be trying to just to go for a strong raid. Black Dawns are fairly tough units, and they do have a very powerful attack, very powerful mass damage attack, so he might be trying to do what he was doing the Blast Wings, except with a reusable unit. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that, possibly with Banshee support. And Klogobot Factory, finally, one of the more recognizable factories of the game being built up. I shouldn't say finally, it's just, you expect this to happen early on. Like I said, it's one of the more recognizable ones, one of the more normal, if you'd say, ones. And Cybernetic Pony getting it built up at the seven minute mark, while Google Frog continuing to focus on Archangels for defense, getting his expansions up, getting his Razor's Kisses up for the anti-air. Now, Razor's Kisses, one thing about them is that they do go into a nice hunker down defensive mode when they aren't attacking, which means that the Cloaky Bots can actually have a hard time dealing with them. The Zeus's, I think the EMPs will have no problem, but Everything else, it's going to have a hard time. The Black Dawn Banshees are set up. More units are not forthcoming. All the money funneled into that Klogobot factory, and these units here, are they going forward? Yes, they are. There we go, finally. Going towards Google Frog's base, trying to find the right position for them. Well, Google Frog getting his Archangels into position, but they are out of position. Banshees are coming in. The defenders are going to be a problem, but the Black Dawn's really what he's going for. Able to deal a lot of damage to that commander, but not enough to kill it. Waiting for the Black Dawn to recharge to swoop in and finish off the commander. There it goes right now. That commander is down. So is the Banshee, but that's a worthy sacrifice. The Black Dawn actually survived that attack, taking out Google Frog's commander and quite a bit of his economy with that as well. Quite a bit of his energy economy, at least. His metal economy is fairly healthy, but his energy economy is not. However, having these Freakers around is going to help a lot. Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, has no... Well, he has a Rector now, but he had no Builders for the longest time. So both players are about even when it comes to Builders. Minus the Commander, of course. Google Frog is still down a Commander. And at this point, actually half a Connie compared to Cybernetic Pony. Or Cyber Pony, rather. I should go with his current name. So Google Frog continuing to build more Freakers. A very good idea. He's going to need them. If he loses that one Freaker that he has left, it's not going to be impossible to get back, but it's going to be harder. He needs... Builders. He needs builders to keep going. He needs to be able to get out of this, and there are puppies around just scouting on, making sure that any units that come in are at least being spotted, if not stopped. One of the Blast Wings... Looks like a Blast Wing did actually deal some damage here. And another Blast Wing getting hit by the Razor's Kiss, but just out of range. He hit too reliably, but it's still not moving fast enough, and now there it goes out of range to avoid getting hit. But it's pretty damaged. I don't think it's going to be able to get in and deal enough damage, or deal any damage. It's probably going to be destroyed before it gets anywhere near. If it's moving fast enough, the Shrapnel will still get in, and no, it does not. That Blastwing is nowhere near able to get rid of that. But the Blastwing able to get rid of, well, a small a radar tower, that's about it. Not able to get rid of the Melee Stratter or anything. Unfortunately for it. 
So Google Frog actually getting title generators to make up for his power loss. Not bad, they are fairly reliable for their power, unlike the wind generators. Technically the same unit, but they do have a slight difference when in water. They're a bit more reliable, a bit less dependent on wind. But there we go, the puppies have spotted the units coming in from Summoning Pony, the Warriors, and Zeus. No raiders coming in, however, and not entirely surprised. His raiding has been mostly filled out by his gunships. Speaking of which, his Black Dawn should be around here somewhere. There it is. Has just been set up to auto-regen. Not sure he's going to attack next with that. He's just waiting until Google Frog is a bit more confident that he's not getting attacked by gunships. But that Black Dawn's still up, so Google Frog's probably aware of that. Probably well aware of that, and probably going to be quite worried about it coming back in. However, his Archangels are set up for defense. One right here, and... Yeah, one at the entrance of the base and one over the side where the gunships are likely to come from. But Cybernet Pony able to take out all of these tile generators once again, knocking out Google Frog's economy. And Google Frog at this point has only managed to damage a couple metal extractors for Cybernet Pony essentially crippling his energy economy about three times over this game. Cybernet Pony doing a very good job dealing with this and Razor's Kiss. No, actually, uh, the EMP damage is also reduced by the armor. A Jack coming in to try to take care of that Zeus. It. It's going to be a bit tricky, but it does have a lot of health, so the EMP is not going to do a whole lot to it. However, not moving forward in time to get rid of that. Or jumping forward, surprisingly enough. And a moderator as well to try to slow down the units. A lot of units don't see from the Jumpbot Factory much. Usually we often see Pyro, sometimes we see Jax. Moderators, not so much. Moderators are an interesting unit due to the fact that they do slow things down, but they're also only pretty much used for slowing things down. That's about it. They're kind of like Venom's in the way that Venoms pretty much only do, or used to only do EMP. However, that slow beam is going to allow the Jack to get close enough to take care of this warrior if it is able to survive long enough. Why is it not jumping in? I'm a bit surprised. It is jumping out, which is not surprising, but the fact that it wasn't jumping in was a real, little bit bizarre. However, a nice distraction. Google Frog is sending out some puppies to raid. This is what he really needs to be doing, or at least to block off the perimeter. It isn't quite raiding yet. No, it looks like he's using it for defense instead. A few of these will be able to reclaim these warriors here to replicate. Not really focusing on that so much, though, but he could if he wanted to. And the rest of the cloak units coming in here. Cybernetic Pony does have his units in place, and he does have a Black Dawn as well, which has been spotted by the puppies and which has been wasted on the puppies, only killing two of them as well. Being that they can self-replicate pretty easily, that's not going to amount to much at this point. Not to mention they're quite cheap. And here we go, this is what I was talking about in the last game. Caretakers are very important, The Google Frog does not have quite the income to support that yet. It's still not a terrible idea at this point. But, Cybernetic Pony coming in from all angles, Banshee's coming in from the east, Cloakybot's coming in from the west, these Archangels, this Archangel out of position, but close enough to still deal damage, one of them going down, or maybe going down, no, the Banshee's going down first. Banshee only able to take out the radar, and Google Frog is, at this point, he is only aware of line of sight. He does not have any radar. On the other hand, Cybernetic Pony does have radar halfway into Google Frog's base, but not very far under. He's not completely aware of what's going on there. So Google Frog is still pretty well defended right now, but Cybernetic Pony has been taking map control completely. He's really on top right now. It's going to be difficult to get out of this. These puppies aren't really coming up enough. A scuttle would actually... Well, it'll do something. It'll take care of a lot of the ground units. And the Jack also doing a decent job against the ground units. Actually, I'm not quite making cost yet, but still doing a fairly good job. The Moderator helping out with that, but this Jack is pretty much about to go down. Yeah, EMP'd, completely stopped, and it's going down. Separate point, not even focusing on that too much. It's down. And this Moderator being inconvenient, but not deadly. Black Dawn looks like it's coming in for the kill from the east side of the map. Able... Oh. Be able to get rid of one of the metal extractors and do some nice additional damage on top of everything else. That is going to be fairly powerful. However, well, let's see, your Cybernetic Pony continuing to build up. Yeah, there is much that's going on. The Archangel being repaired by the Caretaker, very nicely done. And it's Black Dawn not moving out of place. Cybernetic Pony needs to get that out of the way. The Archangel not hitting it enough to actually kill it, but definitely hitting it enough that it's a small concern. As it moves closer, though, that's where it's a concern. This Black Dawn needs to be pushed out of the way. Why is everybody not focusing on that? He is focusing on 
the small defense with his commander, but not focusing on the saving this Black Dawn, which is going to go down pretty soon. Not, okay, not the biggest deal, granted. Enough Blast Wings actually to take out the rest of Google Frog's base at this point. But it is going down. Cyber Knight Pony just folks on it a bit too late. And another Jack coming in as well. A Jack and more puppies coming up. The Blast Wings, however, once they come in, they should be able to tear apart most of the base, possibly even this factory entirely. They aren't quite coming in yet. They're still just focusing. One of them going into Scout just to see what's going on. And it able to get rid of a couple of the plants, a couple of the wind generators. And the rest of them getting destroyed by the anti-air forces. Able to take out the puppies, but not really able to get rid of anything meaningful. An air factory in the back for Google Frog. Getting some precision bombers from there. Probably going to try to take care of the, well, the warrior Zeus and commander. Possibly getting rid of some of the factories in the back. But no units have really come out of the base to deal with that. None coming around the back to push out, get rid of this weaker section along the side here, and then attack Cybernetic Pony's main base. Instead, simply going for pushing down the ramp to get rid of units there, and keeping this warrior slightly slowed. But otherwise, not a whole lot going on, unfortunately, for Google Frog. Once his airplane factor comes up, though, we will see what he had planned, and indeed, Precision Bomber coming up, Shadow coming up, which will be... Now, we'll be going over here, and we'll see, he might be actually using it to try to get rid of these metal extractors. Just one by one. Not a terrible idea, but these defenders being in the way means that Cybernetic Pony has at least become suspicious. At this stage in the game, it's not surprising for an opponent to get a second air factory if they haven't gotten an air factory to begin with, air or gunship. So, not an unreasonable assumption for Cybernetic Pony. He does have a second Black Dawn coming up as well, and a shield bot factory on top of that for support. I suppose he's probably just trying to get a bit of a shield ball, possibly felon thug, just to can just completely push through this. Newton's being used to push away these Zeus's as best as possible, but at this point Google Frog's resorting to a lot of little tricks. Not a lot of direct combat. Between slow and EMP, it's not completely ineffective, but these puppies only able to get rid of one of the warriors. The Newton, about to go down, has been stunned and no longer that effective. Well, dead. So yes, yeah, no longer effective, it's no longer existent. And Cybernetic Pony, let's see, he is about to win this, pushing through, getting the metal extractors, no real anti-ground defense in this base, everything is focused on the gunships, and that's kind of how you play with gunships in air start, is that you try to make your opponent go for anti-ground first, and it makes that they simply can't do anything else. The jump bot factory is gone down, but yeah, once you have your, sorry, not anti-ground, anti-air, so anti-ground is no longer a focus, and you just come in with ground units and finish them off. Defenders are a nice flux, nice flex roll for that, but even with that, it's not enough. The so Cybernetic Pony pretty much has this game. Precision Bomber coming in to try to take care of the Zeus. Able to deal some damage, but not able to kill it. And the rest of the Zeuses actually can't hit it. It's not in range. But it doesn't matter. The Black Dawn coming in to finish things off with the Banshees. Or at least to distract while the Zeuses finish things off with nothing else. And that appears to be the case. Getting rid of one of the Archangels. Or trying to get rid of the, one of the Archangels. Nice reflex jump there from Google Frog. Unfortunately, it's not going to be the most effective given his position overall, but still a very nice move nonetheless, saving that Archangel by getting it off the ground just in time. Still, Cybernetic Pony, not even using the Shield Bot Factory, he just has it there for show, I guess. He is getting another Black Dawn once again and pushing more Warriors. Still, at this point, the Warriors and Zeus's, that's his main force. Warrior, however, gone down to the Shadow, and with more Shadows coming up, that's actually going to be fairly powerful eventually. Granted, it's not going to last long enough, and he needs an air rearm repair pad, which he doesn't have any builders to build with. So yeah, this is Google Frog's last stand, really. He will be able to get rid of the Zeus. Does does that, but one more Zeus in the back. This Shadow should be able to take care of it. it looks like it's going to probably go... No, it's going straight for that Zeus. He's well aware of it, and he is going to take care of it as best he can. And as best he can, is actually pretty darn good. He does have another Shadow coming in for the last shot. And there goes that. No, the Zeus alive with 15 health, actually. Not quite dead yet. But a Freaker coming up for construction. So there is actually some builders left. It's not completely lost yet. And another Black Dawn coming in, trying to get rid of the Air Factory. However, the Archangel doing a nice job taking it out. Will it take it out? It's able to take some damage on the Archangel, but not able to take it out. Once again, having been destroyed. At this point, not the biggest deal, though. Trying to come in for anti-air for Cybernetic Pony. The biggest thing, however, is just 
Oh, bandits. Okay, that actually makes sense. They are a bit stronger than glaives. So I would not be surprised if he's using it. He has enough resources to afford pretty much anything. He could practically go striders at this point. Oh, yeah, maybe five more metal. Maybe 40 metal total. But yeah, he could practically go striders at this point and still win the game. Google Frog has been pushed into a corner. Granted, it is Google Frog, so I wouldn't get cocky. But still, pushed into a corner nonetheless. And an outlaw coming in to try to help out as well, just to fight the slow game. Still, not the biggest deal. That moderator has been long dead. The jacks are all that's left, and the air factory is going down pretty much now. Google Frog has thrown in the towel, about to blow up all his units, and there they go. That was the game. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will be back shortly with another one. So stay tuned.